Hello everyone, my name is Caitlin or Pixel Kate, and welcome to Stardew Valley. I am really excited to play this. It's going to be slightly different than other videos I've done. I actually want to start a series on it, so hopefully you guys are down for that. I'm just hopping right in. So basically, uh, this game was developed by one person, and I think that is amazing. But I don't really know a whole lot about it yet, so we're just going to hop in. I know it's going to be a lot more of a chilled out kind of game, so hopefully you guys will be patient with me as it kind of has to progress naturally. So at first it may not be the most amazing thing. Oh lord, we definitely don't want any sort of facial hair. I guess we should go ahead and give her a name. And then obviously we have to go with Pixel Farm because, duh. Uh, let's go with some cookies. And we'll have a dog, just because I have a dog named Parker. Alright, I'm not gonna worry too, too much about this. Could we give her some, like, really nice pink hair, maybe? Yeah, you know what? Let's... Let's just see what blonde looks like. We'll go ahead and just give her blonde hair. Okay, and then I've decided to go with the standard farm. Just because I've seen what that looks like from pictures, and I just, I don't know. I kind of want to get that original feel for the game, if you guys know what I mean. Alright, that looks good to me. Alright, we are going to hop straight in here. Santa, going to bed there. And for my very special granddaughter. What is for your very special granddaughter? I want you to have this sealed envelope. Great. The music is so sweet. No, no. Don't open it yet. Have patience. Alright. Whatever you say, Grandpa. He's sitting there, like, grabbing. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. I think that day has come, Grandpa. I think it's come. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Sweet. Very uplifting. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. I hope it's that sword. I hope he's like, by the way, yeah, you can have that. He's got a little thing. Now let Grandpa rest. Okay, 20 years later. So, it's taking a nice snooze. Joja, join us, thrive, work, and not rest. So, got a workout girl, got some... That guy's on drugs and energy drinks, I guess. Uh, that guy's just, like, trying to stay awake. Oh, there's us. Are we sleeping? Are we sleeping on the job? We're shaking. Oh, we're stressed out. I'm so sorry. Oh no. Man, this is an old school desktop. No wonder we're so stressed out we can't do anything. Oh. Oh. Dear Kate, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy. Pixel Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. This is a perfect place to start your new life. This is my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. My voice. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? We sure will, Grandpa. If Lewis is around, we will say hi to him. All the time. Every day. Every day we see that guy, we'll say, hey, my grandpa said hi once. Oh, we are on the bus, so I guess we quit our job. We said uh, we are not going to thrive anymore with you, Jojo. We are going to thrive on the country farm life. I like the little art style and music, by the way. It just blows my mind that one guy created this game. 
And I guess it took four years because he wanted to really make it the way he wanted to make it. Because he was really passionate about doing the best he could with it. And so far... Oh, that was loud. So far, he's done amazing. So we're not going to skip this because we want to know. Hello, you must be Kate. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. Alright, Robin. You seem pretty trustworthy. Oh my gosh. This is a little bit overrun, you know? feel like uh, we could have opened that deed a little bit sooner. This is Pixel Farm. Yeah. That's what I thought, too. It's uh, beautiful, but it's a little bit overrun. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. I don't know about no time, Robin. Think you're being a little bit unrealistic here? And here we are, your new home. New? I mean, it's cute. I like it. It's much better than that modern apartment we were in. Oh, the new farmer. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm going to try to like think of good voices to use. Hello. Welcome. I'm Lewis, the mayor of Pelican Town. I thought this was Stardew Valley, first of all. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Well, Grandpa said hi, if you would let me speak. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. That's the word I'll use. Right, rustic, yeah. Rustic? <laughs> That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Oh, Robin, you. <laughs> Rude. Yeah, I mean, I guess it was a little bit rude. Don't listen to her, Kate. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. He looked so stern, he was like, Robin. Hmm. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. It's the middle of the day, Lewis. Not everyone goes to bed at 3 p.m. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. He struts off. Like the busy, businessy man he is. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect- Why would you come back? Okay, well, good luck. Why would you come by in the middle of the night, Lewis? Don't you have things to do, like go to bed? Oh, wait, yeah. Probably because he sleeps at 3 p.m. Okay, so it's the next day? The next day in Stardew Valley. Your progress has been saved. Oh. Cute. Can- Oh. We have an axe. Can we not, uh... Oh. Okay. You right click on it and we got some parsnip seeds and a new journal entry. You received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis. Awesome. Oh. I am not trying to take the whole TV. Fortune teller. Welcome back to Well- Wellwick's Oracle. If you seek hidden knowledge of the future, well, you've come to the right place. The spirits are somewhat mildly perpetrated today. Protrude. Per anyway. Luck will not be on your side. Well, that's great. Honestly, what better way to start the day than not having any sort of luck on your side? Oh, boy, yeah. I remember now what she meant. So... Possibly cue a little uh, time lapse real quick of me clearing out the lamp because this might get a little bit messy. I just want to clear out a little section of it so we can actually function a little bit, you know? It's fine. I would just prefer to be able to sometimes get out of my front door without stepping over 500 rocks, going through tall grass, tripping over some logs. You know, it's fine. Don't even really worry about it, honestly. It's all fine. I am so pumped to play this game. You can probably tell by the fact that I haven't stopped talking. But even the little music in the background, everything is just so... Everything's so chill. I really hope that you guys... Sorry, 
that just kind of froze a little bit because I clicked off of the screen. I'm a professional gamer. But anyways, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy a more uh, chill experience type of game because I really wanted to play this game and it got recommended to me. So I figured that we would check it out and like I said, it might take a time or two before things really spice up here in good old Stardew Valley. But it will happen. Alright. So, obviously we want to clear this giant stump out of the way. Your axe isn't strong enough to break this stump. Okay, well, then I was just kidding. Let's chop down this tree, though. We can at least do that much, right, guys? Alright. And... Oh, okay. I know that this is still trying to grow, but I'm gonna take it down. This is this is our farm, guys. We can do whatever we want. Gee. Okay. And mm, obviously we need to use this. Oops. I just wanted to plant some seeds. It is our first day here, really, after all. So I think it's the perfect plan. Alright. We will get these bad boys all watered up and ready to go. What's this? It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. Two out of 28 people greeted. Wow, there's 28 whole people in this town. More than where I live. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, then seed, packet, crop, water. I'm doing it. Alright, while well, that's happening, and we have our little land all cleared out a little bit let's go around and why does that have a plus sign on it oh inventory full can i not throw some stuff out oh okay oh i really thought that we were getting somewhere okay and then take that it looks a little bit nicer than the uh giant stack of grass that we had all right I'll walk with the flower out, just in case, you know, people run into me. They think I'm not very friendly. What is this? Spring year one. Oh, Lewis's birthday is coming right around the corner. Vincent egg festival? Okay, flower dance. So this is actually super cute, guys. There's birthdays for everyone and all that stuff. So let's go to Pierre's. It's Farmer Kate. His name is Pierre, though. I wonder... Welcome to P.S. Need some supplies? I don't know why I would give him that voice. He seems a lot more chill than that. Um, you're kind of expensive, buddy. I don't know. I mean, should we... Oh. Oh! Oh, cool! We're selling stuff. Alright, let's get some kale. So we can plant that. And then... Let's see. Potatoes. Obviously, we want some potatoes. We'll do three of those. And then that'll be all from you for now. Thank you, sir. Who are you? Ah, uh, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Hi, Marnie. Can I not say anything else to you? I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. All right. She seems nice enough. Well, I'm getting some supplies for the saloon. Pierre's got the good stuff. Alright, Gus. Nice to meet you guys. This game is freaking cute, guys. It's adorable. Dog? I don't see a dog, but I see dog food everywhere, if that's what that is. Okay. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're gonna get along great. I'm Alex. Hi, Alex. Bye, Alex. Alright, so that's Gus. We already met him. Let's see if we can say anything else. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Salon. Okay. Bye. Okay, is there, like, a map? Yes, there is. Wow. Okay, so that's Pixel Farm. And then... Grape... Graveyard? Okay. Anyway. Wizard's Tower? Fish shop? I want to go to the fish shop. It's open. Let's go. Go into the beach. Or at least the little riverfront. I don't know. But no, uh, there's a lot that this game has. I know that for a fact. I don't know much about it. Worms? 
Uh, I don't know much about this game yet, but I do know a book. I do know that there is a lot more involved than just, you know, planting seeds. That is not amazing. You found a lost book. The library's collection has expanded. Who are you, fancy? Fancy pansy? Hmm, I'm not a huge fan of this. Did I just give him a rock? Ah, oh, crap, I'm sorry. Ah, oh, the new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. He seems way too fancy for me. I'm like, okay. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Is it, though? And is this your little cabin? It's locked. Only Elliot's friends can enter uninvited. Okay, well, can I swim across here? Hmm, with 300 pieces of wood, this could be fixed. Okay, so we have a mission. We gotta keep remembering what it says, guys. Okay, I really need to just throw this away. I'm sorry if it's important to have coal. We will figure this out as time goes on. I just kind of wanted to explore a little bit. And also, uh, the first episode or two, gone fishing. I'll be back tomorrow. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Like I said, the first episode, like this one, and then maybe the next one, might be a tad bit slower. Because we still need to figure out exactly what we are doing. I was just looking over there to see how long I've been recording. Because I don't want to make a five hour long video for you guys. And then you'd be like, what? Okay. Hello? Ooh, I can read it on your face. You're gonna love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Okay, Emily. You're super upbeat. And I don't know if I can handle this right now. I gotta go. I got things to do, okay? Places to be. What's down here? So mysterious. Oh! The music changed. And when I say that, I mean it just disappeared. Marnie, that was rude. Saw me coming and literally ran away. I'm coming in there. Marty, I have to say some words to you. Okay, fine. I will just inspect your stuff. Looks like someone was chopping vegetables but never finished. Marty, what are you doing? This is a cute little area though. What is that? Ugh, we have too much stuff. I don't want to keep dropping all my stuff. I'll just come back for it. But, uh, I wonder, am I allowed to, like, take your logs and stuff? I guess so. So, yeah, uh, I know that we have to expand our farm and meet the people, and apparently they all have birthday- Uh, is this our farm? This is our farm. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. This is too much for me right now. All I asked for was a simple task of going away. All I wanted, really, all I wanted was to get out of the city because I was too stressed out and Grandpa freaking gets me here in the middle of nowhere and I have to do all this stuff. How is this supposed to be stress relieving? Tell me. Can you tell me how, please? Oh my lord. All right. So there's the bus that we broke down in, or maybe not. I don't think we broke down, but for some reason it's still there. Okay, guy with glasses. Let's go down here and see who he is. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Hi, Harvey, the local doctor. Oh, a stranger, my name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. That's not a good mentality, Vincent. You could get kidnapped by one of the 28 people in this town. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagine, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Is it okay? You make me feel like it's not okay. Green hair? Hello, you must be Kate, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. You seem nice. My husband runs the general store here, and have you met my daughter Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. What a lovely description. This woman is just intensely staring at the flowers. Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. 
You can call me Granny if you like. She seems so happy. I wish I had something cool to give her, but I don't. All right, this girl's just chilling on the bench. Nice and casual. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Uh, I'm looking forward to meeting you too. You seem nicer than half the people here. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. Wow, dynamic. That's a big word. Hi. Oh, did you want something? Um, yeah, maybe a little bit of, uh, kindness. Alright, the town is thriving right now. Talk to me. Hey kid, the name's Pam. Don't be a jerk and we'll get along fine. Okay. This guy looks like a cool skater guy. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Alright, Sam. Are you gonna go, like, skateboarding or something? Okay, let's go in the... Okay, another new person. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Great, you seem nice too. It's locked. Open 9 a.m. through 3 p.m. If this is the only hospital slash doctor's office in town, I'm gonna be a little bit worried because they close at 3 and they open at 9. What about any other time? I mean, honestly. Okay. We're exploring and exploring. I did not mean to do that. Why did things get quiet again? Alright, I know you. You're Robin. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. Uh, Robin, you have no idea. Okay. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. You seem nice too. I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have you met my daughter, Mario? She's interested in to meet you. We did meet, actually. And oh boy, it is getting dark. So I guess 6 p.m. means go back to your farm. Something's gonna get you. So, just making our way downtown, walking fast. Except we're not really walking fast. Oh wow, if you hold down shift, you really can't walk fast. Oh, a fountain. Can we put something in it? Put a stone in there? Nope. Okay, there's another one of those, but... Oh, there's two of those. And I think I saw a playground up there, but I'm kind of scared, so... We're just trying to make it home real quick. Alright, we'll go ahead and go to bed, and we're gonna see... Wow, there's a hole in my porch? That's fine. We're gonna go ahead and sleep really quick. And then whenever we wake up, we'll see what happened to those plants that we planted, the little parsnips. And then we're going to go ahead and end it. That way it doesn't go on for forever. Because I'm going to try to... Oh, wow. They did grow a little bit. Nice. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and water them. I feel like this game's going to get addicting. But I want to always make sure that I'm not making the episodes too long or anything. And, uh, you know, that'll all factor into like how long you guys want them to be and all that stuff too. So, you'll just have to let me know. Can I check the mail? Okay. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Alright. So, just junk mail, kind of. Hello there. Oh. Hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Willie. Alright. So... That tells me now that the next episode that we do, we're going to head down to the beach and meet a guy named Willie for whatever is going on. So go ahead and let me know down below what you think of this game so far. Like I said, it's going to be a little bit of a slower game at first until we progress, but I've heard that there's all sorts of different things to do and every game ends up being different for each person that plays the game. So. Like I said, hit thumbs up if you like the video. If you don't really like this game, uh, comment down below and let me know like what you would rather see and kind of like why you wouldn't really want to see it. But if you do, definitely let me know because I think this game is absolutely adorable and I'm excited to see what is in store. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.